Hello friends. So in this video, we will implement a linear regression. So open Jupyter Lab and first we will import NumPy. So if you don't really have NumPy, so just go to your terminal or for Windows users, just go to go to Anaconda console. You can find it in start, then go to Anaconda console and just do pip install NumPy. That's it and that's it so just import numpy and then we'll import matplotlib.pyplot as plt so what this function will do is that it will plot it will, it will actually plot uh, different graphs for us so then we write matplotlib in line so this uh, this line will help us to plot different uh, graphs uh, in jupyter and we can also do style we are going to use the style. I actually like the style. 538. So it is ran. So this is the first step. And first import the. Also maybe we can also uh, import the some tagging hints. Or I think what happened. Okay, yeah. Import callable, comma list. So first, getting the data. So from sklearn dot data sets. So we are. Uh, I think sklearn is already installed with the Anaconda while installing Anaconda. So if you if you don't really know how to install Anaconda, just go to my video in deep learning from scratch and just click on the first video you see where I explain how to actually uh, install Anaconda in, in in Linux in Ubuntu and Windows. So from Escalian load diabetes. Right, yeah. So this is a diabetes data where let's let's just call. So if you just do load diabetes here and the the, the data will be fetched, right? So it has already been there in your library. So if you can see it is a dictionary, okay? It's a dictionary first, there's the data that is the features. And for each features, there is a target variables, target variable, and then we have the different feature names, which we don't really need. And we will try to implement the linear regression here. So n is the number of features. What we do is that data. So so actually, if if you do this, type data. Data is a kind of a kind of a dictionary, okay? It's the learn.utils type of, it's, it's, it's actually a dictionary. So if you actually call by data, you'll get the data, right? Like whatever is there under the data heading. Like, like, like this, if you, if you just call this by this, it will, you'll get this inside this. And then if you call this by target, you'll all get all the target variables. So let us first get the data, that is the X, that's the features. Yeah, so data, data and uh, let us also get the y that is a prediction that is the actual values which are to be uh, predicted that is a target and what is our number of features number of features is x dot shape one right so what is this x dot shape so x dot shape gives us the dimensions of the matrix uh, that is there are 442 uh, examples and each example have actually 10 features right so that is this is why this is 442 uh, comma 10 this dimension and this is actually for a numpy array this shape this shape is for numpy arrays only and this is how we import our data and then we will split our data into two parts that is one is a test set and another is uh, another is a training set. So we will choose 80% of our data for our test set and the remaining 20% as the test set. So we will do x test equal to, so how to do this? So first we give this colon, what this colon gives us is this. So suppose let's say mm, a is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 6. Right. So now, if I do this, that is, uh, that's a three comma four, uh, three comma, uh, not three comma. It's two colon five. 
So it will give us from the position 2, that is 0, 1, 2, that is 3, and up to 5, right? 4, 5, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So up to up to 5 means excluding excluding the excluding this 5, right? Just just before 5. That is up to 4, right? Including including the first thing and excluding the last last term. So and if we do this, that is four. This will this uh, if if we don't actually give anything in the first one, so it will take it from the start. If we don't actually give the last one, it will print from four, including four, and up to the last one, right? And what if we give nothing? It will print the whole array, whole list. It is here this list. So x test equal to print speed. We want all the training examples from the first to the, up to the training where, where the data has been split, which is the 80% point of the total, okay, wait, total data. I did a mistake here. Total data is, is the, uh, that is the number of examples, right? X dot shape zero, that is not 442. So this should be total data, right? I did a mistake here, just. And why test, why train, this is, sorry, there's a strain. And uh, why train? Is equal to y to train split, right? And similarly, we will also need the test data, which is the remaining 20%, right? So that is from the split where the training examples has been uh, has been kept aside to the last of the data, right? This is what we do. Y Train split, train split. Yeah, that's it. What is happening? Okay, total data. This is this has not been run. This still has not been run. That's why the error is there. So really, the error is gone. So let's check our x test dot shape. So this is the remaining data. We have all the ten features. That is, this is the number of features. This is n. We have all the ten features and. We have 89 examples. So let's see x train dot ship. That is three, and the remaining 353 examples are for training. And we will just uh, test the parameters on the x test. Okay, and let's just check for a while what is there in y train. Y train, there are only 353 examples with only one element in each. So this is what uh, about first getting about uh, with the data. And now, in the in, in the in the in the next lecture we will try to see how to update the parameters okay so stay tuned like subscribe my videos and my channel also that's it thank you